Today we're gonna talk about the hyperactive mechanic in the Illuvia Marina because this is one of the most important things that you need to know in order to be successful in the arena. So let's jump right in, waste no more time and see what it's all about. First we're gonna start with the affinity chart right here and basically what it means the outside arrows right here indicate a plus two for your hyper bonus and then the inside arrows indicate a plus one for your hyper bonus so for example if we take nature right here it's gonna get plus two versus air units and it's gonna get plus one versus water units what does that mean let's check it out in game you also have this graph right here it looks a bit different but it's exactly the same and you can always check it out it's the third tab here is the hyper tab and then you can check out all the affinities and how they correlate to each other, how they interact with each other. And if we take this into account now, we're gonna check out the enemy affinities. All right, we got mostly water right here. Composite affinities, steam for example, is water plus fire, doesn't matter. It matters what the base affinity of this unit is. You can check it out if you go, for example, on the ranger. Ranger has a fire weapon, that means it's fire dominant. It counts towards hyper with the fire affinity if this dash for example was leveled up to a stage 3 the umber it will still count as a water illuvial because that's the base affinity of this line we're playing versus mostly water now there's a lot of nature coming in okay let's change our tactic let's play against nature versus nature we're gonna go in here and check it out so versus nature fire is very good and earth is kind of good so what we want to do versus nature unit is for example play fire that's gonna get very very fast high hyperactive bonus fill up that hyperactive bar we're gonna talk in a second about what that exactly means and for example if he was playing air plus nature that would mean fire would counter both of his affinities but in this case he's playing water plus nature which are on the opposite side of each other so this means if we play fire we counter his nature units but his water units counter our fire units so what you can see right here this yellow hexagon right here this is the area where the hyperactive bonus is going to be applied so if in this area of this ramfire is going to be a lot of nature alluvials or a lot of air alluvials we counter that and we're going to get hyperactive if in this area is for example earth or water our fire is going to get countered and we're not gonna get hyperactive bonus so we're gonna check out our ramfire right here you can see this yellow here it's gonna fill up more and more and more and once it's full once it reaches its full state it's gonna get extra bonuses we're gonna look at the bonuses in a second so actually let's try to win around and actually fill up a full hyper bar we're just gonna slap some random augments on our units it does not really matter and yeah we're just gonna flood our board with some units let's actually play into the hyper of our opponent he has water and nature the water units are gonna jump to our backline there's also an earth unit so let's see what counters that versus water and earth air is very good so we're gonna play more air units there's an air there's an air most of them are rogues but it doesn't matter too much so let's just go for a lot of rogues three air and three fire right here and yeah we're gonna we're gonna really just keep it at that i don't want to over complicate this right here so for example if we make our vermi a uh, vermilier now it's spore but it's still gonna be you can see it right here air dominant it still counts towards the hyperactive bonus with like it's being an air unit it's still an air unit for hyperactive basically now we're gonna press start and hopefully we're gonna fill up some hyperactive bars this time we're killing them too fast but soon we'll see how it looks yes this is once it fills up it's like this it can never not be full anymore it's hyperactive and it's gonna stay like this for the rest of the fight in the next fight this is gonna be reset again and now let's have a look at the effects of it. You can check out the hyper influences like we did before. And then you can go onto the individual units and you can actually check out what is going to happen. So for Ramphi, which is a rogue, you can see it right down there. Rogue units get scaling crit amp up to 50%. So for example, if we have half a hyper bar full, we get 25% crit amp. And once we reach the 100%, we get the full 50% plus another 50%. This effect gets doubled. Plus we get another effect hyperactive is really important right now really strong so once we reach the full hyperactive bar once it's fully filled up we get a hundred percent crit amp meaning you do double the damage with your crits plus a 10 percent health execute so if you damage anything that has 10 percent health or less you're gonna instantly kill it we have the same thing with empath and all the other units for example empaths right here they're gonna get up to 30 health um, healed around themselves in a medium area per second once they're full they get another 30 so then they have a total of 60 health per second healed around themselves 
And once that happens, they also get that bonus effect, which grants units around themselves 40% healing efficiency. We have similar things with fighters, for example. They gain up to 100% attack speed plus penetration. Then we have Scion units that get extra Omega power. Basically, it's very much aligned with what the unit is supposed to do. Fighters attack faster, Scions have more Omega power, and so on. And that's basically it. So, for example, if you play versus a water unit, make sure you bring and play a lot of nature and air units, and so on. You always want to try to counter the opponent's affinities, and if you can, you want to position away from the affinities that counter you, and position into the enemy affinities that you counter, and that way, your units are gonna get hyperactive. The enemy's units are not gonna get hyperactive and you're gonna win way more games if you're looking for more guides and more tips how to win more games in the Luvium arena check out the video right here and subscribe to my channel because that's where i do all my guides i see you tomorrow in the stream or in the next video have a good one peace out everybody